give us a snapshot of your life. And the reason that that is such a good question is that all the advice that you receive from the person being interviewed is based on the context of their life experience. I grew up in a small town in England. I had one successful father who was an entrepreneur, self-made man. My mother had a personality rather like mine. And then my the love of my life, my soulmate is my brother, who is one year, one month, two days, 12 and a half hours younger than I am. At that point in England, nobody expected very much of girls. It would never have occurred to my dad's friends in the Rotary Club that their daughters would have taken over the family business, even though they might have been better equipped than the sons. My brother was brilliant. And around 12, I thought, well, I'm definitely more artistic than academic. I'm going to be a hairstylist. And as it turned out, that was a brilliant move, not only because I had the personality and the interest, it gave me access to relationships with individuals I would never have met socially. I became a good hairstylist because I worked harder than everybody else. I, at 18, went to live on an island off France called Jersey. I went for a summer, stayed two and a half years, and then thought, where shall we go next? And I came to America at 20. And when asked why, it was because it seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> I didn't know anyone, didn't have a job, had nowhere to live. I had $500. The, the two or three people I had met who had been to America said, go to San Francisco. I believed everybody. I knew America only from movies, turned up in San Francisco knowing everyone in America is rich and the streets were paved with movie stars. I have not been in the slightest bit disappointed. I was a hairstylist at the Mark Hopkins Hotel. And I discovered that hairstylists in America get paid 50% commission, and to me, that was a license to steal.